Everybody knows just how versatile Christian McCaffrey is. I mean, the dude throws touchdown passes and plays the piano as Tom Rinaldi's here. But maybe a new addition to his repertoire, the most amazing of all. Reese, people like to call Christian McCaffrey Mr. Everything. You can see why when you see that highlight. But there's a difference between everything and the important things. And every June, McCaffrey returns to a place that puts that into special focus and to a bond with a special football player, a bond that means everything to both of them. Here at one of the great institutions of American learning, a question for the ages has taken hold. What is Christian McCaffrey? Christian McCaffrey is something special. Christian McCaffrey is the next Heisman winner. Christian McCaffrey is beautiful. Christian McCaffrey is a monster. There goes McCaffrey! What a weapon he is! Christian McCaffrey is amazing to watch. Overworked, not human, savage. He's a magic man, folks. Christian McCaffrey is a legend. Many answers, but maybe the simplest comes here. Back home in Denver each summer at a different kind of football camp. It got created when my dad saw an opportunity to create a football camp called Dare to Play, where people with Down syndrome could come together and their families could come together and all support them and go through a week of practice and then play in a game that weekend. Every year since he was a freshman in high school, McCaffrey's been a counselor at Dare to Play, coaching players with Down syndrome. And every year he's been paired with one camper in particular, Dusty. First meeting, I saw him over there. He tackled a dummy and got up, looked at dummy, and did the John Cena. And I thought it was the funniest thing I'd seen in a while. Camp is really fun for me because I do like football so much. I do catching the ball, do passes, and I like to be a player. He had the gloves, he had the touchdown celebrations, he had the whole deal, and uh, seeing that and seeing how much joy he brought and how into the camp he was, uh, you know, I, I, that brought a light to me, and I, I wanted to be around him. McCaffrey gave Dusty his gloves that first camp, and he's kept them ever since. As one of the faces of college football, McCaffrey came back to the camp this summer and was viewed the same way he's always been, as coach of the blue team. Yeah. Oh, two. Dusty doesn't see anybody as a celebrity. He just sees him as his friend. Afterwards, Dusty said, but you know, I've taught Christian all he knows. I was like, I'm sure you have. He looked me in the eyes, he was like, this is my favorite day of the year. And every single year, uh, I look forward to this. And when you hear that coming from him, um, you know, it, it almost brings a tear to your eye because you kind of take a step back and realize that, that you really are having an impact on somebody. I do love Chris McCaffrey. I like to be a play every day with him, catching the ball. That just makes me happy. As for how Dusty, now a 35-year-old football veteran, played in the game at camp's end, Oh, he balled out. I know he had a couple touchdowns. He had a bunch of tackles. When the game's on the line, he's going to make a play. The game is very important to me because it is fun for me. And I have to enjoy the game. Because I, I'm still the king in all the game. So after breaking records and torching defenses and thrilling crowds, what is Christian McCaffrey? Christian McCaffrey is my best friend. Maybe that's the best answer of all. Since the Global Down Syndrome Foundation and Ed Christian's dad started that camp back in 2010, they've served more than 200 players with Down Syndrome. As for Dusty, he considers himself to be the camp's all-time career touchdown leader. No one's arguing, and it puts him in pretty good company, Reese, with Christian McCaffrey, the all-time all-purpose rushing leader and all-purpose yardage leader in NCAA history. A great bond there that will continue.